Hello, I'm Matthew Hawes, Albemarle County Superintendent of Schools and an avid high school football fan. I want to also say that I love all of our fall sports, including golf, field hockey, cross country, and volleyball. I'm focusing on football today because that is the sport that draws the biggest crowds of spectators and the greatest chance of spreading COVID-19. Today, I'd like to talk with you about a very important issue regarding your health and the health of your friends. Recent data from the Blue Ridge Health District tells us that in our county, our COVID-19 case incidence rate places us in the highest risk category for transmission of the virus. The good news is that many of our middle and high school students are aware of the dangers from this highly contagious virus and are being vaccinated, as the facts tell us. 79% of young people between the ages of 16 and 18 in Albemarle are fully vaccinated, as are 74% of those between 12 and 15 years old. For football fans, this is impressive. By comparison, only 52% of adults said they plan to watch the Super Bowl earlier this year. We often think of watching the Super Bowl as a popular pastime, yet the rate of Americans receiving their COVID-19 vaccinations is much higher than the rate of Americans watching the Super Bowl. The point I'm making is that while you may hear some negativity about vaccination for COVID-19, it is a much more popular activity than most people may think, especially here in Albemarle County and in our schools. If we were keeping score on vaccination, you are winning the vaccination game. Even vaccinated, however, you are still at risk of not only to get the virus, but to transmit it to others. News stories are filled with reports of the virus being transmitted to large numbers of people during outdoor events like this concert. This brings me to why I'm talking with you from Monticello High School's football field. It's because tonight we will be hosting major outdoor events at two of our high schools, Albemarle High School and Western Albemarle High School, and soon we will be doing the same at Monticello. I want you to come out to support your school and your team for these and future games. I may not look it, but I'm still young enough to remember how much a part of my high school experience it was to cheer on my team every Friday night during football season. So I know it means a lot to many of you. But we want you to not have to risk your health to enjoy this part of your high school life. At tonight's games, our student sections will look a bit different than they did last week. We will be following public health guidelines by asking our students and families to respect social distancing requirements. You will find designated seating areas. We ask for your help, not only in making your game experience a highly enjoyable one, but also a very safe one. And there'll be staff on hand to help you do that. For you and those around you, please honor these new seating arrangements so that we can continue to play football games in front of our students and families and community without the need to restrict attendance at our games or even possibly be forced to shorten our seasons again. Over the past 17 months, our students, families, and staff have been world champions in following public health recommendations that have helped to nearly eliminate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus in our schools. You have helped make it possible for more than 13,000 of our students to safely return to our schools. I'm very grateful for that. And for us to play football in the fall again, or play field hockey, golf, volleyball, or run cross country without limiting attendance. Let's keep winning by returning to normal as best we can while protecting all of us from getting seriously ill. Let's continue to stay safe. I'm grateful for your time and attention and take care. And go Patriots, and go Mustangs, and go Warriors. I wish you the best.